All right, y'all, I'm out here messing with this boat again today. Today I'm concentrating on the fuel tank. This is where the fuel tank goes behind the lighter, which is an awful spot for it. Um, here's the how you fill the fuel tank up. You got an air vent for venting the tank, and you got the screw-off cap to fill it up when you're at the, the gas station. But uh, I think I'm going to try to de uglify this area right here and get rid of these black hoses and uh, get rid of this aluminum plate take it off the side of the boat and just have the the fuel cap right here maybe put an aluminum plate across there put the fill up cap in the middle and the air vent in the middle so i think it would uh i mean even that's not ideal but you'd still be able to reach it from when you go to fill it up at the gas station but at least I'd get them black hoses out of the way. So I got some sea foam and a couple gallons of gas to put in the gas tank when I put it back in. And I got all new fuel hose. Get rid of this old fuel hose. And uh, I'm not going to... I'm going to have to be pulling the tank out again because I want to make little rubber, little rubber things to go down in here. Because the ones that was in there was cracked and dry rotted. But uh, whenever I redo this back deck, I'm going to have to pull the fuel tank out anyway to get in here with tools and fiberglass or however I decide to redo this back deck. So I'll probably have to pull the tank out for redoing the back deck because this, this fuel tank cradle is coming down and it's fiberglass to the back deck and the back deck I'm going to have to rip up so... I may have to do a uh, like a little 45 degree angle come down and just do like a 45 degree angle from there to there that way I can still use the keep this cradle but it uh, enable me to tear the deck out from under it something like that who knows I might have to rebuild it all together it'd be nice just to get this tank out of here and be able to put it somewhere else but I don't think I'll be able to but that's what I'm going to work on today so y'all come along for the ride all right I've got the fuel tank in and what I noticed right away is the where you fill it up at this big hose hooks to the fill up well it's right in the way of this that fill up is spout is not center of the tank and I want it to come up between these steps so what I think I'm going to do I'm going to flip flip the tank around 180 degrees and this is the this is the port that goes to the fuel pump on the engine this is the port that lets the tank breathe so what I got what I think I'm going to do is and it looks it looks like they have the same threaded bungs on the top of the tank so i think i'm going to flip the tank around put that fitting down there that fitting down there flip the tank around and then the fittings will be back where they belong and uh then i'm gonna run hoses we'll see how i do all right y'all this is what i was talking about i got rid of that plate on the side got the flip the ladder around behind or I'm sorry flip the tank around behind the ladder and if you look at it I recut the hoses to where the the fill up cap and the breather comes just above where I where I may possibly do a plate across there I got to thinking I'm I made these things taller than I needed to for the time being but I may actually cut them down to where if I if I uh, cut this thing down, I can actually put the fill up and the breather underneath this plane here. And I maybe can make an aluminum plate with hinges and uh, the hinge, it'll hinge open and then you can fill it then hinge, hinge it back down. And, uh, you know, who knows, it? you could set drinks or something like that on it while you're sitting on the back porch. And also, uh, from the side view, 
I can uh, make an aluminum plate or something that uh, it's got the same curvature as this uh, fuel tank. And all this will have to be later because this this uh, fuel tank is going to have rubber uh, um, rubber saddles underneath it to where it kind of stays still and everything. So after the fuel tank gets to its final resting spot, I can make side plates that comes down from here, hugs the contour of the uh, the tank on both sides. Maybe a plate in the front and a plate on this side. And then when you look at it from the down view, there'll be a, a, a aluminum plate that's hinged in the back that you could open up to access for filling. But for today, that'll get me by. Now I can put some, I got some uh, sea foam. Got a new jug of sea foam right there to put in there. And I got a couple, two, three gallons of fuel to put in there. And I'm going to try to get her cranked up. So, wish me luck. Got her running, as you can see. Yeah, I couldn't use that, uh, that one distributor cap. I had to, I had to change back to the, the first distributor cap I bought. Couldn't get it to fire with that other one. I just say, I gotta replace a few O-rings. But she runs. That means tomorrow I'm going to tackle the bellows, which, which is something I have not been looking forward to doing. Let's see if I can start it up again. I couldn't a while ago. Oh, fired back up this time. Alright, well, I say I'm making progress. Got to get a few O-rings back there and check it over. Give her everything the good old once-over after the tune-up. Well, that's all for today. <clears throat> Tomorrow I'm going to get out here and attempt to remove this outdrive and replace those bellows in there. Just a Volvo Penta 280 outdrives i've watched videos on youtube on how to do it it don't seem easy but it don't seem hard neither so i'm gonna attempt it tomorrow i got a little a-frame with a chain hoist i'm gonna set up behind the boat and maybe uh rig some straps or something to this outdrive and maybe try to get it off of the chain hoist i don't know <clears throat> but that's for tomorrow the view of the back of the boat. Can't wait to be camping on this thing. Appreciate y'all watching with me. Y'all take it easy. Finished working on the boat right in time. Always rains when I work on the boat. That's all right though. Got me a shower. Got an ice cold adult beverage and cooking some goodies on the grill to congratulate myself y'all have a good one